Hello, Gemini. Welcome back. Happy August, new month. We're finally out of July, which was a train wreck with the, mer mer the Mercury. I'm still struggling with my words. The Mercury retrograde. We're in a shadow period, but things should be moving forward. So as those of you that are dealing with electronics, we are up and running again. Thank you. <laughs> I did get some comments about my voice being too low in the last videos. I apologize. My voice is strained, so it's, I'm having a lot of trouble. Throat chakra is down. I tried to update my system, but hopefully you can hear me. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't know what to do. I'm trying to heal, but I do so much talking with, with my business that it's hard for me to rest my voice. But anyway... Uh, moving on real quick for those of you that are new I don't do date and time specific I'm just working with what energies I'm sensing right now and so keep in mind this is a general reading okay if it resonates ah, fabulous if it doesn't check the other signs in your chart watch one of those videos or you can book a personal reading with me link to my website is in the description box below okay cool all right um, the spirit animal that I pulled for you is the white rhinoceros okay I'm just feeling like you're very burdened you're carrying a heavy load for the group some of you could be a boss or work for yourself or you could be the head of your family most likely both a couple of these scenarios may apply to you okay you're just very in charge but you, I'm feeling like you're tired uh, here you look very tired keeping things in order especially because you're dealing with individuals that are let I'm getting the word immature so you're either dealing with children or your or somebody your spouse people in your family life your work they're just all immature and you have to carry the burden pretty much but you're strong you can do it absolutely but it's more so I don't know if you're having the most fun and then who you're dealing with is the crow Scorpio energy very strong so if you're not directly dealing with a Scorpio there could be Scorpio in somebody's chart or there's just that Scorpio vibe in the air I, I'm sensing there's probably a Scorpio nearby if they're not the main picture for you they're a factor in a way that you may not realize okay so there's definitely transformation change this type of thing you could also um, I'm getting like a messenger. Somebody's a messenger of something. And this Scorpio has to do with it. Not everybody will be dealing with a Scorpio, but I feel very fixated on that there's a Scorpio around. There's a Scorpio lingering. And beware, Gemini, because while you can be friends with this Scorpio, you guys are technically Scorpio and Gemini are zodiac enemies kind of you know so they're not going to take any ish from you and you will not from them but that's sometimes why you get along with Scorpios because there's a very clear you know what I mean you won't neither one of you is going to tolerate a lot this could be in a work setting you could be working with this person in the future and the energy wise you guys could create really great things together but both very strong individuals Huh, yeah, I feel like you're being busy, keeping yourself very busy in regards to work, definitely. I'm not getting a lot of romantic energy here for you right now. I just feel like you're just burdened and trying to do so much, set up a lot of new things. I'm getting a change, a change of home, just a change. You're trying to delegate everything. There could have been, I'm getting that you had some self-fulfillment on something. You could have walked away from a scenario, but something ended. And whatever it was, you were just ready to move on from it. So you, I do see you in this walking away. But then at the same time, it's like you're waiting for something too. It's like you're waiting for somebody to follow you. you you're looking... It's like you're moving forward, but there's somebody that you want to follow you that is a wish fulfillment that maybe you keep looking back like, so are you coming? Because <laughs> I'm going off on this journey. So you may be traveling or literally moving. And I kind of want you to come along, you know, that type of feeling going on. But something recently ended and there was like harsh communication in regards to it. Whoever you were dealing with was reckless at the mouth. They could be um, a fire sign. 
or an air sign. Yeah, there could be children involved in this equation in some sort of way, but there is a deep-rooted unhappiness in this connection, definitely. And whoever this King of Wands is, they're kind of coming across like they beat to their own drum. They do what they want type of thing. They're very playful, charismatic. They can be fun, wonderful to go out and socialize with. But they do not think before they speak. They will say whatever, even if it hurts you. They're probably a little bit sneaky too. They definitely don't tell everything, you know? There's, there's something, there's, they're a cool cat, this one. They could be very, there could be some juggling going on as well, trying to decide between two options, maybe a way of being or two people. I could, uh, I'm getting a little bit of both, you know? Both energies, somebody's trying to decide how they wanna act in um, a relationship or just with others. And then also somebody's kind of deciding on two people, whether this is you or the other person. Um, there could have been, there's definitely some hiding of things going on. The number seven could be significant for you as well. If you see the number seven, pay attention for the signs. Somebody is confused. Somebody's confused about someone's actions. Could be an earth sign or an air sign. This person, let's see here, they're lying about something. If it's not you, if somebody's coming at you with some information, when they tell you something, they're not telling you the full truth. They're just reckless, sort of. It's like nothing personal, but they're reckless, so they're, they can't tell the full truth when they speak to you. Also, I'm getting two queens here. Fire, air, and more Scorpio going on here, the death card. So it's like something, hmm. You could be working with two females and something ends with that, but I also feel like, again, I feel like there's a Scorpio in the mix somewhere. Whoever this Queen of Wands is, she's extremely good looking. She or he, very independent, probably likes animals, could be around animals often or work with them. But she, you know, she's kind of, But she also kind of says whatever. She might be a little quirky in her personality. You just never know what she's going to say. And something could change between you and this person. Okay, so I'm getting a couple things. Somebody is either dealing with two people, like there's third party energy going on, or they have somebody else on their mind if they're not physically doing anything because there's not a lot of physical movement. It's more a lot of thought. Somebody could be thinking about a Scorpio or a fire sign or something along these lines. But then also, for you, if you're dealing with a fire or water sign, I'm getting in business, maybe. Something's going to change between your relationship. There's going to be an ending and a new beginning on how you guys interact or something. It's, there's going to be a lot more communication coming in. There could be several options coming towards you guys as to work as a duo. I'm getting that. You know, you've been having a lot of solo energy, especially when you work with yourself, but I am seeing somebody else coming in the equation that could bring a lot of sparky ideas, a lot of new, they're just very vibrant, this individual. Okay, here, let's see. Yeah, it looks like there was a home or a commitment that you decided not to put work into or somebody's not putting work into anymore. Um, could be a Virgo, another earth sign. This earth, and there's going to be, it's coming up as earth, so I'm just going to say earth sign, but if it's somebody else, this could be just a business person, they're going to come in with some clarity about emotions or something along these lines. There is love here, you know, there's a deep emotional feeling and I think they may express that to you. But I also, this person is just not really that good with commitment, I feel like. They're not good with commitment, they don't really like it. So they're in and out. 
Somebody also may have a water sign on their mind, big time. This probably is a secret because they're not dating this person. It's like I see them just like thinking about them when they're alone and maybe they can't have this person. Even if this person were near them, they couldn't commit to them or they couldn't develop a relationship for whatever reason. So this person just kind of floats in the realm of their thoughts. Um, and maybe they talk to them sometimes, but it's, again, it just feels very distant, very far, not a whole lot of close contact. Okay, so before I close it off, I'm just gonna see what's coming up for you, what else they wanna show me, what's coming up for Gemini in the very near future. Just show me, close me out here, universe. Well, you're ending conflict. Maybe with an earth sign or an air sign. There's a lot of earth here in this reading, but it could you could have a lot of money and business on your mind. Whatever this situation was, it wasn't balanced. <clears throat> They're not trying to return, but somebody may be having trouble letting go of this. Somebody's trapped in their head over this person, this individual, or this individual is. But I do, in general, it, I don't feel like somebody should move forward. Whoever the opposite person is, if you, this is you with dealing with an earth sign, don't move forward with them. It just looks like a lot of... It's not going to be balanced. You won't get the communication or the foundation that you want. They won't decide to give you what you want. So you're just going to end up feeling stuck in your head a lot and confused and frustrated dealing with them. You know, but somebody may want to return or may not be very hesitant to move on in regards to this, but I just, I don't know. It's like this person was your wish fulfillment, so you don't really want to leave it behind. You have a lot of time and energy put into this, but it just does not work. Boy, not consistent enough at least. You find yourself waiting more than anything, or they're waiting for you, I don't know. I feel like you're waiting, you're the waiter, and you're not into that. Mm -mm. No, no, no. All right, Gemini, that's what I have for you this week, okay? Bye-bye.